everyone today I'm continuing on with my 2018 December album and I'll be working on days 22 and 23 so I've already got a few bits and pieces here picked out a couple of journaling cards and my photo for day 22 so I will pop you on fast forward and get right into it so day 22 was all about wrapping some presents and I've got that 6x4 photo that's going at the bottom of the pocket page. I've just got an Ellie Studio phrase sticker that I'm attaching to a piece of vellum. And then I'm going to add that to the center of that very busy photo. So the vellum will just help that phrase sticker to stand out. And then I've got a gold star to go just above that from Studio Calico. And I will add stitching to that, but I'm going to move on to these other two cards first. So I've got this Falala bauble. A little chipboard bauble that I'm going to add to the middle of that card. That card I just cut from some Felicity Jane paper. I just cut it to uh, three by four. I'm also going to add that piece of twine behind the bauble so it looks like the bauble's hanging from the top of the card. So just secure that with a staple, trim off that excess, and that one is pretty much done. I will add stitching to that too though. Now this card that I'm working on I believe was from a black and white journaling card set that was on offer at Ellie Edwards for 2018 and I'm adding the gold foil Felicity Jane numbers to the center of that and then it's got that little area where you could add some words. So I'm using an Ellie Edwards stamp here that says, uh, what did that one say? Around the tree, that's right. And I'm just stamping that straight into that rectangular area and then I can just add another one of those little gold stars to the left of that one. So it's nice and quick and easy. And now I'm going to grab my sewing machine and add stitching to each of those cards. So I'll stitch across that uh, phrase sticker and around the border of those other two cards. Just add another staple to the twine just to make sure it's nice and secure and then those ones can go straight into the pockets and that is day 22 complete. So day 23 is about our holiday baking. Lots of fun. My journaling has been printed using my printer um, onto that card from the Paisley Press Kit from 2018. And that rectangular box there, I'm just going to add the date using my Felicity Jane roller date stamp. So the other uh, card up there with that little banner piece, I believe that was also in that black and white journaling card set. And I've just added that little chipboard piece to the top there and my number can go underneath. So once again, using those Felicity Jane gold foil numbers. It's just right in the center there. Okay, this other card, I think that uh, card was also in that black and white set. And I've just added that cute sticker, uh, which is from Heidi Swap, a sticker set that was on offer, I believe, last year. So I thought that was appropriate for our homemade goodies. So on that large photo, I'm adding a Felicity Jane phrase sticker from last year's kit. And I'm going to just have another look for a couple more to add to those gingerbread photos as well. So I've got the word gingerbread going under the gingerbread house. And looking for another one for the little elf that Maddie made. And I've chosen love this. So that's going to go just above his hat. Okay, so I've also got a large photo to go behind those two 6x4 photos in the pocket. And all I'm going to do to that one is add that Felicity Jane chipboard piece that says cookies. All right, so just looking what else I might be able to add here. And I found another one of those circle chipboard stickers from the Merry Days chipboard set. So just added that to that 6x4 photo. Now I'm going to go ahead and add stitching to all of those cards. I'll just replace that Heidi Swap sticker, trim off all the excess threads. Okay, I'll just put that chipboard piece back on the top of there. I did remove it to add the stitching to the top of that banner piece there. So these are looking pretty good. So to put these into the actual album, I will need to add those two 6x4 photos to the back of that large photo. I did just add a little gold heart to that love word as well. 
Okay, so adding these 6x4 photos to the back of that large photo because they will all be going into a large pocket for the album. So by adhering them to the back, that way I know they're not going to float around in the pocket and they'll stay nicely in place. All right, so that one can now go into the pocket ready for the album. And I can go ahead and add the other ones to the pocket as well. Now, I did have that 6x4 photo at the bottom of that page on the previous day. So once again, I'm going to have to adhere those two little cards to the back of that 6x4 card. So just a bit of double-sided tape. I could just put those ones in, but they do just move around too much and overlap each other in the pocket. So it really is a good idea to adhere these into place. Okay, so that is now done. So days 22 and 23 can now be added into the album. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these two days uh, done and ready to go. I've just got days 24 and 25 to share with you, which I'll be back with very soon. Let me know if you've got any questions, just pop it down below and I'll leave you with these close-up photos. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.